Hello everyone, I am IA Roadkill, and we are in Felsburn with 9 Day Seasons and Hard Economy. We are playing on the PlayStation 4, and this is episode 24. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button, please. Thank you.
I am just finishing up the second fertilizing contract for this morning. I have spent the last three, four days doing contracts. It is now five, day five of mid-spring. We are finally warm enough we can plant. As soon as I get done with this fertilizing contract, we're going to look into that. Should be close. There we go. I checked my pigs this morning. They were not dirty. The feeding area wasn't dirty. The pigs were dirty, I'm sure. Oh yeah, the last four days, whatever, I spent clearing my trees. I'll drive by this way so we can look at them. I think most of them are 10 foot apart. So we should get some growth out of them now. I planted them back when I was on my fake seasons. So you could put them as close together as you wanted to. I believe I took out five trees in between each tree. So that cost me a little bit. Not, not too much, but a little bit. Ah, looky there. Pigs got dirty since I did a couple fertilizing jobs. My bucket seems touchier for some reason lately. Well, I could have swore there was something right there. Evidently not. I'm seeing things. We can come back to that later. I'm not sure if this wagon will attach to the spreader or not. That seems to be a no. I don't want to do that because something will go flying. All right, let's drop that off. Because I'm pretty sure they need food. Yep. Oh, hardly anything. Oops, wrong way. Okay, well, let's go look at planting. I, I want to put in canola. I just don't know if that would be the best choice. Ooh, fallow, fallow. That's because I restarted the game with seasons, so it's given that to me. Because I had to plow. Maybe I didn't have to plow. Okay, well anyway, we are going to plant canola. If I haven't said it before, the reason I plant canola is you get paid earlier for a high price in canola. And I have to be careful. I left my tractor sitting in front of the house last night. There we go. And that's the tractor I'm going to need. But we'll dump this off. I 
I just kind of left things laying all over the place, didn't I? Alright, we have a little bit of seed left. Canola, there we go. Now let's back up. Oh! Into the other tractor. Not what I wanted to do. We'll start down here. I like this little cedar rig. Pretty cool. If you didn't want to Gotta concentrate here. If you didn't want to cultivate separately, you could attach the little cultiplow that I have over there next to the Yeah, the thing that blows like a snowblower. Anyway, you can attach that inside there between the tractor and the planter, cedar, and then that would let you cultivate at the same time. But I like to do them separately. That way I can get another fertilizer state put down in between. Just my personal preference. But it's a nice little rig. As you can see, I do have the worker working. I let them do my straight lines, and then I get to the end and take over for the turning around. Especially on these small, narrow pieces of equipment. My driving a straight line skills are not very good, so I let a worker help me on straight lines. Now, on my hardcore that I'm playing right now, I do not allow workers. I have to do everything. Which is fun. Challenging, but fun. Missed a little bit right there. Gonna do a 
cultivating contract while my dude is cultivating 27. I thought I was doing 8. Alright, I'm in the wrong neighborhood. Twenty-seven is one of the fields over here. Okay, it's not that one. Actually, I'm going to guess it's this one over here because it still has old crop in it. Sugar beets, maybe? I don't know, but it's letting me do this one. So yeah, I'm doing a cultivating job with an underpowered tractor while the other tractor and a worker are doing our planting for us. Trying to get some more dollars. I don't know if this tractor will even be able to pull this cultivator up the hill. Let's find out. Ugh. Come on. slow but it'll do it so I will work on this and I'll get back to you when something exciting happens and I decided we better check on the worker planting and he is going to run out of seeds. I think he'll make it down to the other end, so I will refill it after we get over there. Or I will refill it wherever he ends up in the middle of the field. 42 liters left. There we go. I've got him on a nice wide path so he'll be taking as much seed as he can. Hopefully I'll make it. I do think this will be my last spring for this planter, cedar. I will plan on selling this and buying something bigger. Probably the Lemkin. It is also a no-drill cedar. But that's a hundred thousand dollars. I'll have to save up my shekels to do that. And we made it. Question is, how much will eight hundred and fifty dollars purchase in seed?
about that much. Not full, but I think that ought to be enough to finish both fields. Okay, better go back down the hill now and check on the fertilizer dude. He's not fertilizing, he's cultivating. I see a perfect spot over there to start a nice dairy farm. That might be on my list of things to do. Oh, looky there. I've already got weeds in my newly planted field. Err. I think... I think if I jump in and do a quick spraying of herbicide before... The field updates, I can do it, I'm not sure. Or I have to wait until it's germinated. I don't remember. And our fields are planted. Yay. All right, I can put this away for the year. Actually, I should think about selling it right now if I'm not going to use it anymore.
That might be a good idea. Put that money in the bank. I will leave it right here. Whoops. So that I can find it. Or see it and remind me, I should say. All right, let's get our spraying equipment without hitting the post. There we go. We have absolutely no herbicide. Why don't we have any herbicide? What's in here? Is this herbicide or fertilizer? That's fertilizer. I don't want fertilizer. If I knew that was fertilizer, I should have sprayed that on the field. Darn it. All right, well, let's go buy... I can't buy any herbicide. I don't have any money. All the money I just made on contracts, I keep putting it in the bank. All right, first one is herbicide. Right here. Herbicide. Oh, I need, I need money first. Oh, he's almost done. Borrow. That ought to be enough. Eh, I don't think it's as expensive as fertilizer. Let's go up here and see if I can kill those plants. If I can kill the plants, then I should be able to herbicide my field. Oops, I gotta go take care of that boy first. Well, let's try this. Nope, doesn't work. Cultivating done. Well, let's see. We've got sewing contract. Well, potatoes. Oh, there's one. Barley. Oh, it's a cheapie. Potatoes. Field 22 barley we could do. Oh, but it's so... we got too small of a planter. All right, so what do we have for cultivating left? The only cultivating job is field 23, and that is a diagonal field that I do not like. So, I'm not doing it. Well, there are planting contracts out there. Oh, this is just too heavy for this poor little tractor. Why am I going up here? I need to take this back to the farm. I need to... I could go up this way. Yeah, I think I'm going to sell... I'm going to sell the cedar. So this needs to be set aside.
Now, I'm thinking about keeping that front piece. No, I don't need to. The Lemkin has a large enough seed tank. All right, I am going to run this down to the store and we'll see how much we can sell this for. I'll be back with you as soon as I get there. Okay, first thing, repair. 13,000. All right. And repair. 10,000. Nice. So we got 237. So we've got 26,000. We need 107. Although, if I get a contract for corn or something, that one doesn't cost too much. But, what about, here it is, 100, 102, 000, oh, it takes 250. Well, I've got 261. I do have 261. I could spend 102,000 on that. It is a direct drill, but I could still cultivate before I do my own work. So 102, I should have kept the front cedar because this does not contain very much. Darn it. What do we have? Two thousand three eight nine sixteen oops nope nine There's only nine thousand out there. Okay, I'm gonna do what I said before. Keeping that money, not buying anything. I've already got 490,000 debt, so. Okay. I like spending money, but not yet. Not yet. Well, let's take care of what we have. I do wish I would have kept the seed box for up front, but I'll buy another one whenever I need it. Let me see. Let's go over here. Our other tractor is over here with a cultivator on it that is way too heavy. Look at the time. Yes, definitely I need a new cedar for next year because that took all day long. Well, I guess maybe I will do that cultivating contract on the side of the hill over there with the trapezoidal field, I think is what you would call it.
Where did I leave that tractor at? Oh, there it is. I see it. Passing on the inside. This tractor has a little more weight. It can handle this cultivator. All right, let's shoot straight across here. Did not get me where I wanted to go, but... Oh, and we'll even follow the road. Let's turn... that just leads into this little area here. This would be a good place to put something, some buildings, animal building, whatever. Alright, we just cut through their grass field. I hope they don't mind. And we'll hang a left here. I don't think I hit the sign. I'm not looking. Okay, so we're going to take the contract, cultivating contract for, where is it? Twenty-three. I thought it was for more than that. Oh well. This is a good field to purchase and then square it up. If you wanted to use a worker on this, he does goofy diagonals. But you can square up a field or diagonal up the field, I should say so that the trapezoid follows the 45 maybe that's something I should do we will help get this field ready to go planted hopefully and then we'll offer to buy it from the farmer. I think that's a plan. Okay, well, I'm going to work on this, and we'll see how dark it is when I get done. Talk to you in a little bit. We are about to finish up this cultivating contract and there really isn't anything of substance left to do. Not much money to be had out there. So we're going to call the episode here. 
I'd like to thank everyone who stayed to watch the entire video. If you found it enjoyable, I would appreciate it if you would hit that like button. If you'd like to see more, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And if you would like to leave a comment, you may do so below. With that said, I'd like to wish everyone, including you, a very wonderful day. Goodbye for now.